40 light years from Earth, there is a planet representative of hell. The hellish super-Earth 55 Cancri A may be constantly losing and regrowing its atmosphere. The first super-Earth astronomers ever discovered has given off strange signals for nearly two decades, and scientists may have finally figured out why. Good evening, everybody. I am Amin, and welcome back to another video from Be Smarter Daily. Volcanoes on this hellish world periodically open up and spew hot gas that forms an atmosphere, only for that atmosphere to burn off and leave the planet bald again. The planet, 55 Cancri E, is a rocky world about eight times as massive as our planet and was discovered in 2004. The planet is so close to its parent star, at less than 2% of the distance between Earth and the Sun, that it makes a complete orbit in just 17 hours. This sets up some rather extreme conditions on the planet that have defied explanation. Sometimes, when 55 Cancri E passes behind its star, no visible light comes from the planet itself, while other times the planet emits a strong visible light signal. In infrared light, there's always a signal though that signal varies in strength. Observations of that infrared light with the Spitzer Space Telescope indicated that the day side of the planet experienced exceptionally scorching temperatures of well over 4,400 Fahrenheit, while the night side had cooler but still hellish temperatures of around 2,060 Fahrenheit. It seems that, that the planet's proximity to its star is causing it to outgas, meaning that giant volcanoes and thermal vents open up, spewing hot carbon-rich elements into the atmosphere. But the planet can't hold on to that atmosphere for long due to the extreme heat, and this gas eventually gets blown away, leaving the planet bare until the outgassing begins again. Unlike most planets, the atmosphere of 55 Cancri A is unstable. The outgassing process tries to bulk up the atmosphere, while the extreme radiation and solar wind from the star blow it away. But these two processes are not in balance, leading to the situation where sometimes the planet has an atmosphere, and other times it doesn't. The researchers believe this imbalance in the planetary atmosphere can explain the strange transit signals. When the planet is in its atmosphereless bald phase, no visible light comes from the planet's atmosphere, because there isn't one, but the planet's hot surface still emits infrared light. When the atmosphere puffs up, both the visible light and all the radiation coming from the surface show up in the transit signal. While this is just a hypothesis, JWST will try to solve this mystery in the near future.